guys and girls, it's Rose Burnett and uh, I always seem to be in my car chatting to you but I'm just on my way out to a lunch and it's such a, I'm in such a beautiful place today in terms of spirituality and balance and I wanted to share with you in terms of how do you tap into your soul light and your divine source energy and we all have it in, in, in within us and often we let the busyness of life get in the way of, uh, of who we truly are and, and sometimes that's about following our life path as well and we often let things get in the way of truly tapping into what we want to do and I guess your soul light comes from before you were born that brings you into this world travels right through it's with you now do you know what I mean and sometimes when we we go through experiences in life uh, you know our soul light can get a little bit damaged and pushed down and constrained and we you know we listen to the opinions of other people and we don't really step into our own power and, our, and, and be empowered and uh, and love ourselves fully and, and, and when I talk about stepping into your power it's also about appreciating the light and dark sides of yourself the shadow self and uh, you know we're only in this life we are human and we do make mistakes and uh, sometimes we hurt people and sometimes people hurt us and you know sometimes we make the wrong choices whether it's to do with family or career or finances or you know it can be anything and it's about to come back to your pure light source energy the person that you were always meant to be it's about lightening that load and it's about recognizing when your vibration is not at its highest when you're not living up to your highest vibration when you're not fo following your values you know we often have conflict when we're not following our values and living in true alignment with who we are and it's about recognizing those things and working on them and actively working on them and, and just being consciously more consciously aware of your own thoughts and emotions and pulling yourself up when you're talking negatively in your head or you're allowing people to influence who you are and what you want to do and it's about those mindfulness practices and and when you know and it's also about stop telling the same old story you know if you've been through some hard times and you've been through some trauma and and you know do take the time to heal absolutely take the time to heal and part of that healing journey is to let go of the old story right because it's in the past there's nothing now that you can do about it except change who you are going through to the future and and often when we have those experiences in some way we are partially responsible right in terms of how we showed up in that experience and, and how we responded or reacted and uh, it's about looking at ourselves and going well I don't want to have that experience again right so I want to clean my stuff up and when you clean your stuff up and believe me it's quite the journey sometimes it can be confronting sometimes it can be totally enlightening and you have lots of aha moments and at the end of that journey you come to really appreciate love yourself and value yourself a lot more and you make better choices for yourself right you expect people to respect and value and love you love you as well just as much as you love yourself and if they don't then they shouldn't be in your world and you know to come back to that pure light source energy it's also about tapping into the divine and knowing that there is uh, something out there bigger than ourselves you know I'm a big believer in the archangels and and trusting in the universe trusting in the universe to uh, the wider aspect of the universe to send send messages of guidance and to uh, watch over us and protect us and uh, you know sometimes even if you're going through hard times just to believe that 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 support is there for you and and often if you think about it if you think about your life over the years whenever there's you know we all go through these trials and tribulations but we get to a place where we go you know what that bump is over that bump literally like it might have been really hard at the time but it's it's out of my life now and, and we often can get stuck in worry about things that are never going to happen sometimes they do but not often and uh, you know we always come out the other side we always come out the other side and we're still here and we're still okay and it's about taking that time out also to nourish your soul light your divinity and to do some meditation do some do some walks out in nature I'm a big believer in that connecting with nature you know historically through the ages we've always had a, this very deep affinity with nature and water and uh, the bush and yeah, and animals as well animals can be totally joyful and it's about taking that time every week to put yourself in a position of taking some quiet time out for self and that doesn't mean dragging your friends along or your partner along for a walk right because you're going to chatter and it's about you need that time that quiet time just by yourself with the universe with divine with nature with spirit right and uh, yeah ask for guidance but also it's just that feeling in every cell of your body that you know when you're out in nature you've got the trees whistling you've got the birds singing you know you've got water running and it's just it's
it's just a joyful place to be and, and no matter what issues or problems that you're faced with, it'll lighten your load, right? It'll lighten your load. And the more that you take time out, even like, you know, doing yoga and I do Reiki, I do Reiki on myself as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful practice. But I, uh, you know, I put it into my work, into my week, every week, every day I do something in terms of looking after self-care and, and exercise is also important, making sure that you're in really good physical shape and, and you know, your health and well-being and what you're ingesting is good for you as well. So I just wanted to share that message and I just wanted to, you to know that you are deeply loved and supported in this universe, deeply guided as well. Don't ever forget that. And uh, you've always got plenty of people around you for support as well in terms of friends and family. And if you haven't, you've, also, you've always got the divine, right? You've always got the divine. So I just want to say to you much love, much light. Namaste.